Hi friends, welcome to my channel How to Teach Kids at Home. This is math series for primary grade 4, CBSE and ICSE board. And today I am starting with an interesting topic, time measurement. So in this video, we will learn what is time, how to read time, how to read clock, format of time, 12 hour system, 24 hour system of time, then uh, what is quarter, how to write the time in the past format and in the two format. So don't skip this video. So let's begin time measurement. What is time? Time is a measurement of a progression of event. In physics, time is what the clock reads. So before moving ahead of time, first we should know the measurement of time. As we all know, one year is equals to 365 days and one year has 12 months January to December and the total days are 365 and in one year we have 56 weeks. So, so the greatest unit to measure time will be the year. So in one year we have 365 days, 12 months and 52 weeks and one month has 30 days, one week has 7 days and one day has 24 hours. So, in 24 hours, how to read the time in 24 hours, we will see. How to read clock? We use clock for the measurement of time. So, in a clock, there are three hands, hour hand, minute hand and the second hand. So, the units of measuring time defined by the clocks are hours, minute and second. As we all know, 1 hour equals to 60 minute, 1 minute is equals to 60 second. And the smallest unit of time in a day is the second here. So, we have three needle. This is hour, this will be the minute and this will be the second. The thinnest and the fastest one is the seconds. So, and here this from 12 to 1 it is the 5 minutes 5 minute here so here 1 minute 2 minute 3 minute 4 minute and it will be 5 minute and from 1 to 2 it is again 5 minute 2 to 3 is again 5 minute and 3 to 4 is 5 minutes so in a clock we can say that it is 5 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, here it is 30. So the minute hand, how it will read? So this is 5 minute, this is 10 and this is 15. So when the, the minute um, needle will be at 3, it will be 15 minutes. And here it is 20, so I will write it down here. This is 5 minute and here it is 10 minute, here it is 15 and here it is 20 minute it is 25 and this is 30 minute 35 minute 40 minute 45 minute 50 minute 55 minute and this is 60 minute so one hour is equals to 60 minute so when the uh, minute needle completes all the complete circle of 60 minute then only the hour needle moves that means the one hour will be completed suppose now it is one o'clock and one o'clock like this one here the small needle at one and the greater needle at 12 so it is one o'clock now i'll just make it again So suppose it is 1 o'clock now, this is the hour needle and this is the minute needle. So when the minute needle completes the full circle of it like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and 60 then only this hour needle will move. Then it will move to 2. It will move to Two, then the time will be 2 o'clock. After completing 60 minutes, the time will be 2 o'clock. So, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. After the completion of 60 minutes only, the 1 hour will be completed. Similarly, the 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So, if the minute needle is at 12 and it has to move to here, 
to the one here one minute then it has to uh, move the second hour will move to the 60 seconds when the second hour will complete 60 seconds then only one minute will be done so and here from 12 to 1 it is 5 minutes that means we have 300 seconds done so how to read clock the we have the hour hour hand minute hand and the seconds hand some clock doesn't have the seconds hand only the hour and the minute hand is there so, and the minute hand moves from 12 to 1 to again to 12 and it completes 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 and 60 minutes so after completing that 60 minutes again the one hour will be completed and the hour will move to the next one and again the minute hand will start uh, rotating from 12 to completing the circle from 12 to 12 so this is how the clock works so in one hour the minute hand completes one circle that is it will start from 12 and again it will come to the 12 that is 60 minute it completes then only one hour will be completed so in one hour the minute hand completes one circle and in a day we have 24 hours so the minute hand completes total 24 circle in a day the hour hand completes the two circle or repeat each number twice that is we have am and pm so it will start from 12 midnight to 12 noon that is one circle hour hand complete and again from 12 noon to the midnight 12 o'clock another circles so that's why we have the total 24 hours so how 12 midnight to 12 noon is again 12 hours and from 12 noon to 12 midnight is again 12 hours so total we have 24 hours in a day so the hour hand the hour hand moves twice it completes two circles one for day 12 hours and one for the night 12 hours now We'll see how to write the time and how to read a clock. So first is the three o'clock. This is what how we will read this three. This is three hour and zero zero minutes. So how we will read three o clock. Three o clock. And this one is seven o'clock. Seven o clock. And this is 10 o'clock this one is 12 o'clock that is 7 hours and 0 minutes and here 10 hours 0 minute 12 hours 0 minute so how it will be exactly 3 hours so our hand will be here and the minute hand will be exact on 12 when we have the o'clock that means the minute hand will be always at 12 this is the 3 o'clock and for 7 o'clock it will be the minute hand will be uh, sorry the hour hand will be here 7 and the minute hand again will be at, at 12. So this is the 7 o'clock. Now we will see the 10 o'clock. The hour hand will be at 10 and the minute hand will be at 12. Similarly for 12 o'clock the hour and the minute both hands will be on 12 itself. So this is how the clock moves. Now we will see 2.15. So this is 2.15 means 2 hours 15 minutes. So 2 hours so the needle will be at 2 this is our hand and 15 minutes so it will not be exactly on 12 it will be here this is 5 minute this is 10 minute and this is 15 minute so 2 15 this is our hand and this is minute hand okay so this is the time 2 15 2 hours 15 minute now 6 30 so how we will read 6 30 time So this is 6 o'clock, 
so our hand will be here near 6 and it is 630 so this is 5 10 15 20 25 and this is 30 so the minute hand will be on this 30 minute so this is 630 so how will write it 6 hours 30 minutes now 9 45 So, this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 and this is 50, 55 and this is 60. Then one circle, 60 minutes will be completed. So now it is 9.45. So here the R hand will be here, 9 and this is 45. So this is how the clock moves and we have 9 minutes, 9 hours and 45 minutes. Now we will see what is quarter. One quarter means 15 minutes. So this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and 60. So 15 minute is equal to 1 quarter. So from 12 to 3, this is 1 quarter. And from 3 to 6 is again 1 quarter. And from 6 to 9, that is 15 minutes, is again 1 quarter. And from 9 to 12 is again 1 more quarter. So total we have four quarters, quarters, 15 minutes. So this is 5, 10, 15. So 15 minutes is equals to one quarter. And here also 5, 10 and 15 is equals to 15 minutes equals to another quarter. And here also from 30 to 35, 5, 10 and 15, 5, 5 minutes. Again, one quarter and from 9 to 45, 50, 55, 65, 10, 15 minutes. So again, 15 minutes is one quarter. So this is the concept of quarter. In a clock, we have four quarters. 15 minutes is equals to one quarter. So how we will read the time here? So for example, if the time is like uh, 3.15, so what we will say? Quarter past 3. That is quarter means 15 minute past already over of 3. So this is how we read the time. Now let's see how to read this time to 10. 10 minutes is equals to in normal way we, we say 2 hours 10 minute. So in the past format and this will be from here from 12 to 6 it will be past and from uh, 6 to 12 it is uh, we are moving 2 that means the if the minute hand moves further here so it is it passed past that hour and when after 6 the needle will be moving 2 towards the next hour so it will be 2 and 30 will be the 30 that is 6 6 will be the half past So how we will read the time in past format? So generally we say 2 hours 10 minutes and in the past one that is 10 minute past. So 10 minutes past 2. That means 10 minute is already over if the needle is at here it is 12 sorry here it is 2 and the, and the minute hand will also be in on 2 so this is 2 10 this is the 2 10 so 10 past 10 minutes past 2 or we can say that 60 minus 10 is 50 50 minutes to 3 that is to the next 
hour is 3 that is 50 minutes left for 3 or 10 minutes over for 2 this is how we read the time 10 minutes past 2 and 50 minutes to moving ahead to 3 similarly for 740 it will be 40 minutes past 7 and uh, 60 minus 40 is 20 20 minutes to 8 so this is how we read the time and write also 1150 so it will be 50 minutes past 11 and 60 minus 50 is 10 so 10 minutes to 12 so this is the clock from 12 to 6 we will say past the minute hand will be read as past and from 6 to 12 it is moving towards the next number so it will be 2 and the if the needle minute needle is at 6 it will be half past so 5 30 so we will say half past 5 it is half past 5 or 30 minutes to 6 4 30 4 30 will be half past 4 or 30 minutes to 5. See two systems of reading clock. One is the 12 hour system, the other one is the 24 hour system. The 12 hour system, in a 12 hour system, a day is divided into two periods that is am and pm. So from midnight so am is called as the anti meridian that is from night 12 am to 12 pm noon is called am and pm is the post meridian from noon 12 pm to midnight 12 am is the pm time that is after midday and am is the before midday and pm is the after midday so so if it is morning 10 o'clock here, so if it is morning 10 o'clock, it will be 10 a.m. And if it is night 10 o'clock, it will be night uh, 10 p.m. Similarly, if it is morning 4 o'clock, so from midnight, this is uh, midnight to when it comes to 4 o'clock here, so that will be midnight to noon. So that is the a.m. time. So we can say it is 4 a.m. in the morning and afternoon afternoon from 12 afternoon to the midnight 12 that is from after 12 o'clock it will be 4 o'clock in the evening so the evening 4 o'clock will be as 4 p.m. similarly morning 7 7 o'clock will be the 7 a.m. and evening 7 o'clock will be the 7 p.m. similarly 11 o'clock morning will be 11 a.m. and 12 and 11 o'clock night will be 11 p.m. and afternoon 12 o'clock will be 12 noon or you can say 12 p.m. and midnight 12 o'clock will be 12 a.m. okay so this is the 12 hour system in which we have a.m. and p.m. so the clock is divided into two parts periods a.m. and p.m. From midnight to uh, noon is the a.m. time and from noon to midnight is the p.m. time. 24 hour system. So in 24 hour system we don't have a.m. and p.m. So from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. that is midnight 12 to afternoon 12 is the 12 hour system that is a.m. only. So that is a 12 hour system. So the numbers will be 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 hours. But after after 12 noon, that is 1 p.m. to midnight 12 a.m. So as we don't have here a.m. and p.m. concept, so from 1 p.m. to 12 a.m. we have the 13 to 24 hours. So 13 to 24 hours that is how we'll read here see the midnight midnight one o uh, 12 o'clock is 12 
मिडनाइट वन ओ क्लॉक इज वन ए एम इज वन मिड नाइट टू इज टू मिड नाइट थ्री इज थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग इज नाइन इलेवन ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग इज इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक इन द नून इज ट्वेल्व बट वन पी एम आफ्टरनून वन पी एम विल बी ट्वेल्व नेक्स्ट ट्वेल्व के बाद थर्टीन दैट इज थर्टीन पी एम दैट इज थर्टीन आवर एंड टू विल बी फोर्टीन आवर थ्री विल बी फिफ्टीन आवर फोर विल बी सिक्सटीन आर फाइव विल बी सेवेंटीन आर एट विल सिक्स विल बी एटीन आर सेवन विल बी नाइनटीन आर एट विल बी ट्वेंटी आर नाइन इज ट्वेंटी फोर आर टेन इज ट्वेंटी टू आर एंड लेवन इज ट्वेंटी थ्री आर एंड ट्वेल्व मिड नाइट इज ट्वेंटी फोर आर हेंस द ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ऑफ अ डे इज कम्प्लीटेड सो फ्रॉम मिड नाइट so from midnight to 12 in the noon it's a 12 hours and from 1 pm to 12 am that is midnight again is the 12 to 24 hours it's afternoon is afternoon 1 o'clock is 13 hour evening 4 o'clock is 16 hour evening 7 o'clock is 7 19 hour night 9 o'clock is 20 21 hour night 11 o'clock is 23 hour and night 12 o'clock night 12 o'clock is 24 hour so this is how the 24 hour system works so 12 uh, 2 am is will be written as uh, 2 hours is 2 only and 2 in the afternoon will be read as 12 11 12 13 14 that is 14 hour 5 a.m. in the morning will be read as 5 hour, and 5 in the noon will be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That will be 17 hour. So now we'll see how to convert 12 hour clock to the 24 hour clock by adding 12 to the given number. Suppose it is 12 a.m. So 12 uh, 12 a.m. will be read as Uh, sorry 2 am will be read as uh, 2 hour and the but the 2 pm will be read as 2 plus 12 hour so it will be 14 hour this is 14 hour similarly 5 am morning is the 5 hour and 5 pm in the evening will be 5 plus 12 that is 17 hour 435 pm if 435 am is there so it will be 4 Thirty-five hour, zero four thirty-five hour, and in the evening four thirty-five will be four thirty-five plus twelve hour. So twelve plus four thirty-five will be five three, and this is six and one. So that is sixteen thirty-five hour. generally the time timings the time slots of flight airport and uh, railways buses are based on this 24 hour system to avoid the confusion of am and pm similarly 9:20 9:20 am will be 9:20 hr that is how you will write 0920 hr and 9:20 in the evening night time will be 9:20 plus 12 so it will be 20 20 here 12 plus 9 20 so 0 2 and 9 plus 2 11 here and 1 0 1 2 so 2 1 2 0 r so this is how we write the 9 20 pm in 24 hour system similarly 3 pm will be 0 3 0 0 r in the morning and the 3 am this is 3 am and 3 pm will be 3 plus 12 that is 15 hours so in this video we have seen what is time the measurement of time then how to read clock the units of uh, time like hour minute and seconds then how to read clock how the we have uh, midnight and noon times then we have seen what is quarter what is past and what is two here then two systems of reading clock 12 hour system in which we have am and pm that is 
uh, from night 12 am to 12 pm in the noon is am and from 12 pm to midnight 12 am is the pm and again we have seen the 24 hour system in which we need to add 12 from afternoon 12 o'clock to midnight we have 13 to 24 hour hours then we have seen the conversion of 12 hour clock to the 24 hour clock so this is all about clock i hope the time the time concept is clear to you now you will know will not have any confusion so if you like my video subscribe to my channel how to teach kids at home thanks for watching